Now we'll talk about solving equations that contain decimals. And we'll be using the basic concepts of algebra here. And that means that you can take an equation and you can do just about anything you can imagine to that equation as long as you do exactly the same thing to each side. So your basic skills of arithmetic, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, those things can be done to an equation as long as you do the same thing to each side. So if you add something to one side, you have to add the exact same thing to the other side. Or if you divide one side of the equation by one thing, you have to divide the other side by exactly the same thing. Those techniques apply to any equation, including equations that contain decimals. So let's look at some examples. In this case, we have 2.8x equals 11.2, and we want to solve for x. We want to find the number that we could put in right there for x, and, so, and then multiply 2.8 times x and have 11.2. In other words, we want to find the value for x which makes this equation true, the value for x which satisfies this equation. And here's how we do it. This 2.8x right there, what that means is 2.8 times x. So the x right now is multiplied by 2.8. What we need is x all by itself. So we need to get rid of the 2.8. And right now, that 2.8 is multiplied with that x. So what we need to do to get rid of that is divide by 2.8. And we have to do the same thing on both sides. So I divide the left side by 2.8, and I divide the right side by 2.8. Now on the left, look here, I have a 2.8 up top and a 2.8 down below, those two cancel each other out because I can always cancel something from the top and something from the bottom if they're both factors and they're both exactly the same. So the 2.8 up top cancels out with the 2.8 down below and that leaves me with this x here all by itself. So after those cancel on the left side of the equation I just have x and on the right side I have 11.2 divided by 2.8 and I'll pull out the calculator there 11.2 divided by 2.8 and that works out nicely to 4. And so I just write that in. x equals 4 and that's my answer. Here's another example. 4.2x plus 5.15 equals 9.77. Well here's the x. I need to solve for x. So I need to isolate x. I need to manipulate this equation until it says x equals something. And the x is all by itself on one side. Well, right now on the left side of the equation, I have 4.2x plus 5.15. I have two terms. So the first thing I need to do is isolate the term that contains x. So I need to get rid of this 5.15. And that's pretty easy to do. This is a plus 5.15 right there. So to get rid of that, I subtract 5.15. And you can see that the plus 5.15 and the minus, minus 5.15 will cancel each other out. So if I subtract 5.15 on the left side, I also have to subtract 5.15 on the right. So you can write it here like that, or you could write it down here. It doesn't matter as long as you recognize and show, you should show this not only to make it clear to, say, me who might be looking at your work, but to anyone or to yourself looking at this. Just make it clear that you've subtracted 5.15 on each side of the equation. So here we have 9.77 minus 5.15. Over on the right side, that works out to 4.62. And you could come over on the side and figure that out, 9.77 minus 5.15, and you have 7 minus 5 is 2, 7 minus 1 is 6, 9 minus 5 is 4. You either scribble it out on a little piece of scratch paper or over on the side, or, or punch it in on a calculator. But you get 4.62 on the right when you do that calculation. On the left, the 5.15 and the negative 5.15 have canceled out, so we're just left with this, the 4.2x. So now our equation is 4.2x equals 4.62. That's mathematically equivalent to the original equation up here, but it's a little bit closer to being solved. Remember, I'm trying to solve for x. Right now I have 4.2 times x. 
that's 4.2 multiplied by x. So my next move will be to divide by 4.2. And I have to do the same thing on the left and on the right. Now on the left, the 4.2 up top cancels with the 4.2 down below, leaving me with x all by itself on the left. On the right, I have 4.62 divided by 4.2. And I'll go back to the calculator here just to save time and prevent mistakes. 4.62 divided by 4.2 comes out to be 1.1. So that's my answer. X is equal to 1.1.